we did a, a lot better than, than day one. I'll tell you that. I'm sure Val was like, oh. <laughs> um, I want to ask you a few questions about Dancing with the Stars because you are, you know, one night down. Um, <laughs> did it go how you expected it to? Did anything surprise you after you, you know, finished night one of the live shows? Um, you know, it was really scary. <laughs> Um, it, this has been like one of the hardest things I've ever done. I, I knew it was going to be challenging and difficult, but I did not realize to the extent and I'm both physically and mentally, it's been, um, it's been hard, but rewarding because obviously the whole reason you do anything that's challenging is, is, you know, it's for that rewarding feeling of actually accomplishing it. And this is completely out of my comfort zone. I, um, have zero dance experience and so um yeah I, it was it was terrifying you know to go out there put yourself out there but i think now that i've gotten the first one out of the way and i know how things are going to run i you know it builds a little confidence so that next week um i'll be a little bit more confident in myself but i mean it went pretty well considering yeah. i had about 10 practices to learn that and i had from day one to to what we did you know last uh, monday night uh, was a we did a, a lot better than than day one i'll tell you that i'm sure val was like Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel any pressure because you know you come from a background of cheerleading which obviously isn't the same thing as ballroom dance but people just associate cheerleading and dance as the same thing absolutely and i definitely feel it on you know, social media, I think ever the kind of this insinuation is that you know, since I've won so many times that I would automatically win this competition. Um, and obviously I think there's things that I can bring as far as how to prepare for competition, uh, physically and mentally and my work ethic and things like that. Obviously those are things that I can bring that are gonna, you know, be to my advantage, but because the bigger part of this is actually the dancing and I have zero experience of that. I'm having to really work hard because it's so, it's so different than cheerleading and just the way the muscles that I use, the way that I carry my shoulders, all of that. I mean, I've gotten told at least a thousand times to keep my shoulders down and they just naturally just want to pop up. And so it's been a challenge to really retrain my body to do things differently and, and, and be in certain positions that feel very unnatural to me. So, um, you know, I definitely think there's a ton of pressure because people do expect me to to come out here and bring it. And I do plan on doing that. I just, it's been very difficult to learn something that I don't know how to do. Is there any dance specifically that you're either really looking forward to or like the most terrified of? I am definitely terrified of, you know, I'm not even that educated on how all of them go, but the Latin dances with all of the hip action, um, I'm a little bit terrified to learn all of those. Um, we're doing the job next week, so it's really fast, really, really fast. And, uh, but it's a, I may be a little bit more in my comfort zone because it is a little bit, I'm more free to, to move different ways with my body than being in such a, an awkward frame that feels very unnatural but but it is fast so um we'll see how it goes but yeah those latin dances are a little scary yeah it's a lot um and i know obviously you've only ever performed in the ballroom without a, a crowd so you can't really say but do you think that that has a has an effect on on that do you wish there wasn't a studio audience if it was possible well you know it's kind of um a two-part answer there because I think the fact that there wasn't a crowd almost made it a little bit less scary because it almost felt we did a dress rehearsal right before uh, well we were actually on stage for two days so we did like a camera blocking practice on the day before and then we did a full dress rehearsal right before the show so because there was no studio audience it still felt like we were doing that dress rehearsal a little bit mm -hmm. so i think i think that it was good in the fact that it probably took away a little bit of the the scariness of going out there and doing it um, but the other side of that is one of the most amazing things about performing in front of a crowd is that energy that that it brings to you you know you get out there and it it gives you this 
um, added, a, you know, energy for your performance and kind of takes it to a whole nother level. And so it was missing, obviously, that piece of it. But the everyone on the cast was still in there and the crew. And so there was, they were yelling for us, like yelling my name. So we were all encouraging each other, trying to make up for the fact that, the, you know, there weren't hundreds of people in there watching us. I know it's only been a few weeks, but has there anyone you've bonded with yet on the cast that you feel like? Uh, well, I, my trailer's right next to Chriselle, so I get to talk to her a lot. She's super sweet. Um, Anne Hayes is hilarious. She's, uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm always with her too. Uh, and she really is so funny. I, everybody is great. I mean, they're really, really fun people. So uh, it's, it's been a neat experience.